the street With your head down low Only concentrating on what you know Brother, sister, let me tell you how to change your life From picking up change to society life Not that money that'll make you rich Or the gold, gold dollar that grants a poor man's wish Only the currency that God supplies That covers up sin and gives eternal life God, thing. Got up here before 7 o'clock. Well, I, I, I took the day off Friday. First day off I've had since I've become a full-time pastor. I took Friday off. I was going to relax. And then late Friday afternoon I remembered something. I put myself in a pickle because I still had a lot of stuff to get done. So I run up here Saturday morning about 7 o'clock and, 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 and got everything, got the office unlocked and run out there to the shed and and, and unlocked the shed and got the lawnmower out and, and uh, put gas in it and I started mowing grass. And uh, I made three trips, I made three trips around the building and uh, got everything mowed in the parking lot here in front of the building, got everything out by the gate and all mowed and, and started on the, uh, on, the, on the big section out here in front of the church and I made three, four, five rounds and the belt come off. So I said, well, I'll let it cool off. So I come back. I walked in my office and, and, and I walked in. I said, wow, it's hot in here. I said, the air conditioner must be done one out. And I walked in my office and I looked at my window. There was no glass and a rock had flown through my window. So I had to call somebody to come fix that. I finally, the lawnmower finally cooled off enough to, uh, to uh, put the belt back on. And when I put the belt back on it and and started driving in the back across the yard, and the belt broke on it, amen. And just so happened, uh, Ricky was here yesterday, Ricky McConnell, and he helped me get it loaded up on the trailer, and we got it to the shed. I come back inside the building and began to, I was, began, I was going to work on my sermon for this morning, get it ready, and I realized I didn't have a PowerPoint made, so I had to very quickly make a PowerPoint for this morning, get everything situated, get everything ready. Then I began to work on my sermon, and boy, I thought I had a great one. <laughs> amen? amen? Until this morning. And God said, I got something else I want you to talk on this morning. Amen. And God led me into an old hymn. And that old hymn was written in 1896, over a hundred years ago. And that old hymn says, Oh, to Jesus I surrender. All to Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence daily live. I surrender. God, this morning as we come before you, God, we do surrender all to you today, Father. 
We ask you to step into our midst right now and do the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. We ask you to take control of all things here today, Father God. Father, we pray right now that we will be drawn ever closer to you by your living and powerful word today and through your presence in this place today, Father God. We pray, God, through the, through the, through the convicting power of the Holy Spirit, we are convicted of all sin and, and righteousness in our lives, God. We are convicted to repent from sin and to turn to you this morning, Father God. We are, repent, we, we are, we are convicted this morning to change our way of thinking and giving you control. Father God, we give you praise, honor, and glory now for you are the mighty, awesome, and wonderful God. And Father God, I humble myself up under your mighty hand right now, God, and I ask you to take control of me. Father, that you would forgive me who I failed you, Lord. Forgive me of my sin. Cleanse me now that I can stand before you above reproach to ask for your mercy and grace. Father God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that your words would be my words, your thoughts, my thoughts, your love in my heart, Jesus, that it flows out and touches every one in this room. In Jesus' name I pray. I love you, Jesus. Amen. And amen and amen. Somebody give God a hand clap of praise today. Amen. Instead of, instead of Psalm 71, I'd like you to go to Romans 12 this morning. Romans 12. And I know you're wondering how the song, I Surrender All, uh, applies to the title of our message today, Who's Going to Clean Up This Mess? Who's going to clean up this mess? And you know something? I, I don't believe there's not a one of us in here in this place today that doesn't have some kind of mess in our life. Amen. Doesn't Amen. have something going on that we need help with. Am I talking to anybody in the house of God that they say amen? Amen. Uh, and we want to know who's going to help us. Who's going to help us with this mess? Who's going to step in and help us clean it up? Amen? Well, first of all, let's talk about how we got in that mess. Amen? Amen. How, how did we get there? Well, the song, the song that we sang this morning, I Surrender All, shows us something. We're to surrender all to Christ. Amen. And when we surrender all to Christ, then He can help us clean up the mess. But what a lot of us, what a lot of us struggle with, everybody listen to the preacher say amen. amen. What a lot of us struggle with, we don't mind giving our heart to the Lord. Right. We don't mind giving, giving our body to the Lord. We have the problem giving our mind to the Lord. Amen. amen. I want to say that again. Two people got in on that with We have a problem giving our mind Amen. to the Lord. Amen? Amen. We, we don't let Him take control of our thought life. And I'm going to show you in just a minute. Everybody listen to me say amen. amen. That unless he's in charge of the thought life, we got a mess on our hands. That's right. Hello. That's right. How many of you know today that the battleground is in the mind? Amen. amen. That's it. The, that Satan comes to you and whispers his lies to you mm -hmm. and messes with the way you think. Amen. amen. And let me tell you something. You get, you get your mind messed up. It messes your whole life up. Amen. Right. Am I talking to anybody here today? Say amen. Right. And you know something? We have a problem today in the church and in society of, of, of not letting this mind of ours be surrendered to the Lord. Amen. How many of you have Facebook accounts? Raise your hand. Come on. Get your hands up. Instagram. Or, or, or Google Plus or something like that. How many of you spend, don't raise your hands, about 50% of your free time on it? Or be sitting there in the living room with the family and you sitting there just scrolling through it where everybody else is doing. And, and guess what? I bet you money your kids and your spouse is doing the same thing you're doing. Because your mind has been captured by that social media. Or are you sitting there watching television shows and movies on TV that's not conducive to the way you think as far as Jesus Christ goes? Amen. Amen. Am I getting through to anybody this morning? Amen. Am I stepping on anybody's toes this morning? Say amen. Because you see something, what goes up and what goes on in here in this mind 
The way you think comes out your mouth. Comes out in your actions. Can somebody hear what I'm saying today? And we've got to get control of this. We've got to give this mind. We've got to not only surrender our bodies, not only surrender our hearts, but surrender our mind to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That song said, I surrender all. Amen. Somebody say, I, I surrender, surrender all. all. And that, that means even the way you think. Amen. I, get to, I, I get up to, I use Facebook for one thing, and that's to spread the gospel. I like to post scripture. I like to post the videos, from the video messages from the church trying to get the word of God out. And by the way, we reached close to 500 people last week with our message. Amen. 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 And you know, that's all we can do is reach out and touch people. Plant a seed and let the Holy Ghost take over. Amen. Amen. Try to affect the way they think. But, but, but I got to noticing on there as I scroll through, so I see people that, that are born again believers make posts about God, make posts about Jesus, how much they love Him, how much they want to serve Him, and then two posts later they're cussing somebody out. That's right. Amen. Two posts later they're they posting something that in my opinion a Christian shouldn't even have anything to do with. Amen. They're complaining about people. They're, oh, come on, come on now, come on. And I mean, I mean, I mean, what, what? You can't get fresh water from a salt water spring. You can't get fig from a grapevine. Can somebody hear me today? You either are or you ain't here. Amen. And the problem is, you got a mess up here. Amen. So who's going to help you clean up that mess? Amen. Look at Romans chapter twelve. Verse number one, he said, I beseech you, brethren, this is Paul talking, one of the greatest evangelists that ever lived, if not the greatest. I believe if Paul would have lived in modern times and had access to, uh, to, to the technologies we had today, uh, there wouldn't be a cone of this world and the gospel wouldn't be preached in. Amen? Because right. Amen. the Apostle Paul was a very zealous evangelist. He, he, he was very straightforward. He didn't care whose toes he stepped on. Amen? Amen? And he preached the truth of the Word. I mean, he was so truthful that they wanted to kill him. They wanted to put him in jail. Amen? Amen. But he stood his ground. And he says here, he said, I beseech you therefore, brethren. He's talking to the church. Right. He's talking to those that claim to be born again believers. He's talking to those that, that have been saved by the blood of the Lamb and supposedly have surrendered all to Jesus. But listen, uh, I, I, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. When, when we surrender our bodies as living sacrifice, now let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me let me stop for just a minute. I want you to notice something here. He says it's our reasonable service. Amen. And when you surrender your bodies as a living sacrifice, that means you're giving complete and total authority, control, and care to Jesus. Amen. And it's your reasonable. God's not asking too much. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not like God is asking something He hadn't already done Himself. You see, Jesus gave his all as a living sacrifice. Amen. He died on the cross for you. He was buried in a tomb for you. And glory be to God, he rose on the third day for you. Can somebody give him praise in the house of God? But I like what Paul goes on to say. And do not be conformed to this world. Amen. Amen. And do not be conformed to this world. In other words, church, don't act like the rest of the world. Amen. You're supposed to be something different. Amen. 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 
So when they see you posting one minute, I love Jesus, and the next minute you're posting things about how much you get, you hate your neighbor, or how mad at you, how mad you are with your spouse, or posting something about somebody's body part, come on now, is that, come on, come on. that ain't right. You're conforming to the world. And how many brothers and sisters today that claim to be born again believers, they conform to this world, this world by not living the truth of this gospel. Amen. Not preaching the truth of this word. Not calling sin, sin, and righteousness, righteousness. Amen. Amen. Not preaching that the only way to heaven is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Said at Calvary's cross for the remission of sin. That Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through Him. Can you hear me today? I was telling somebody this morning, we was talking before service. I said, you know, people get mad with me. <clears throat> because I stand on the truth of this word. Amen. And I've done something this morning. I, I, I always post scripture in the mornings. And, and, and one verse of scripture I posted said, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. And immediately responses started flying back. And the Lord said, Now post this. I said, Okay, Lord. He said, title it this. And I don't know if I'll get this completely correct, but this is basically what I said. This is to anyone that does not hold to the truth of God's words and lives in opposition to His will. The Lord will judge. Amen. Listen to what I posted. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own thoughts. Woe to men mighty of drinking wine. Woe to men valiant for mixing intoxicating drinks. Who justify the wicked for a bribe and take away justice from the righteous. Therefore, as fire devours the stubble and the flame consumes the chaff, so their root will be as rottenness and their blossom will ascend like dust because they have rejected the law of the Lord of hosts and despised the word of the Holy One of Israel. I posted that. I ain't heard nothing. It was like, it wasn't nothing but crickets out there chirping. Amen? Because nobody wants to hear that truth. Amen? Nobody wants to hear that. Because their thinking has gotten all messed up. Their thinking has gotten conformed to this world. The Bible, as Paul teaches us there in Romans, not to be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing, somebody say renewing, renewing. of your mind. The way you think. Let me tell you something, church. When you're born again a child of God, you're not born again out here. You're born again in here and up here. Amen? Not only are you born again in soul and spirit, you're supposed to be born again in the way you think. Amen? God should be in charge of your thought life. Not the world, not the devil, and certainly not your own lust and desire. Oh, I'm making people mad this morning. Amen? But I want you to listen to me. Until we surrender this mind to God, our hearts, our bodies, our souls, our spirit, and our minds, be not conformed to this world, hello, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And God will clean up your mess. Amen? You'll finally become to understand, you know, it's easy to talk about. It's easy to believe it, but you know, it's another thing to do it. That's right. Amen. 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 And the only way you're going to be able to get up and walk by faith is to have this mind taken over by the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ Himself. Amen. Now, look, there ain't nothing wrong with watching television or reading books. Okay? But how many of you spend as much time in this 
as you do on, do on the phone, on Facebook, or watching television. Can somebody hear me today? Amen. How many of you spend as much time in this? Meditating on this Word. I'm going to say that again. Meditating on the Word. Hello. And you know what the word meditating means? That means you take it in up here and you think about it and you turn it over and you speak it. Hello. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't want to do that today. They, they'll grab that remote and turn that television on. They'll turn that computer on and go to scrolling the internet. Did you know the internet's the devil's playground? That's the reason I like posting, posting sermon videos and stuff on that. Because you're going head to head with the enemy That's when right. you're on there. Amen? Amen. You're going head to head. And let me tell you something. He can't win. He's a defeated foe. I done read the end of the book. I know where he's going. And I know what Jesus has got for me. Amen? Amen. But where's your mind? Where's your thoughts at today? What's in control of your mind? Have you been transformed by the renewing of your mind? Have you given Jesus and the Holy Spirit control of your thought life? Hello? Hello? And I'm telling, I want you to think about this now. I want the Holy Ghost to put you under conviction this morning. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. God will change your way of thinking if you'll let Him. Amen. Am I making sense till you say amen? amen? He'll clean up that mess that's in your life. And it's going to start right up here. It's going to start with the way that you think. Go to Ephesians chapter number 4. Ephesians chapter number 4. You know, so, so oftentimes we, 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 we got any impulsive people in here this morning? If it, pop, if it pops up, you, you do it. Or if it pops up, it comes out before you think. Come on. Hey, I got one person over here that's honest. Amen? Come on now. If you get honest, you know, some, you need to get a hold of that. You know, you need to get a hold of that. Hello? I've had to learn to do it. Amen? Amen. Because y all, y all, some of y'all know me from about five or ten years ago. I knew me when I was coming up. If it come up in here, it come out here. Amen? I usually put my foot in my mouth when I shouldn't have. Amen? Amen. Sometimes we need to stop and just say, All right, Holy Ghost, how do I handle this? Amen. Give me the word, Lord. Give me the word. Because you know what? Listen to what it says in Ephesians. You ready for this? But you have not so learned Christ. If indeed you had heard Him and had been taught by Him as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off. Somebody said we've got to get it off. We've got to get it off. Ooh, I like that one person. Amen. Come on. We've got to get it off. We've got to get it off. Uh, but put off concerning your former conduct. The former way you acted, the former way you thought, Come on now. The former way you spoke. Somebody come on and hear the preacher today. Put off. Get it away from you. Concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to deceitful lust. Listen. Listen. You can't let this. Everybody look right here. You can't let this mind be controlled by your lust. Amen. You can't let this mind be controlled by your deceitful desires and lust. Amen. Amen. Because when you do, you got a mess going on. Because you're constantly, listen, you're constantly debating. Hello? Amen. You're constantly debating and doubting. Am I talking to anybody in the house of God and they say amen? Amen. amen. You're constantly debating what God wants. You're constantly doubting the Word of God. Amen. I got news for you today. This Word is true from in the beginning in Jesus to the last amen in Revelation. There is no doubt. There is no error. You can stand on it. You can live by it and be blessed. Can somebody hear me today? 
But see, when, 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 when the old man, and let me tell you something, don't look at me so spiritual. <laughs> You're still walking around in your flesh. Amen. And there's a battle going on. Amen. Hello? Amen. Re reach out, reach over to your neighbor next to you and, and pinch down. Amen. You can pinch him back, honey, okay? That's flesh. Amen. And the Bible says that the flesh and the spirit are the constant struggle with one another. Amen. 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 I like those story. I like those story of old Indian. He told his son one day, he said, son, he said, down inside of you are two wolves battling. One is black, the black wolf, which is evil. The other is the white wolf, which is good. And they're constantly going to be battling in your spirit. And the son asked the father, said, well, say, 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 which one, father, wins? He said, the one you feed the most. Hello? Amen. Let me ask you today, what are you feeding in your soul and spirit? What are you feeding into your mind? Do you hear me today? Amen. Are you feeding the Lord? Are you feeding, feeding His righteousness, His Word into your mind? Or are you feeding the things of this world, your lust, your desires based on your flesh? Can somebody hear me today? The Bible says that when you walk in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Can somebody hear the preacher this morning? So what are you feeding into your mind? I bet some of you, during your quiet times during the day, when nobody else is around, struggle with all kind of messy thoughts going through this mind. Amen. Am I talking to somebody Amen. today? Amen. Amen. I, and the reason I can say that, I remember, I rem after I got saved, I struggled to control these thoughts. Amen? Amen? And some of you in here today are struggling to control your thoughts. Amen? You got to put off that old way of thinking. You got to put off that old way of doing it. And the only way to do that is surrender all to Jesus. When those thoughts come up, when those desires come up, when those evil things begin to come up into your head, you've got to squash them down right then. You've got to call on the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got to call on the Holy Ghost and ask Him to take control. You've got to put off uh, that old man. Can somebody hear me today? Amen. Concerning your former conduct, the old man which goes corrupt according to deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Amen. Surrender that thought life to him. Have you done that? You need, and let me say, you just don't do it one time, you do it every day. Sometimes two, two or three times a day. Sometimes every hour. For some of us, it's every minute. Amen? Amen. It's a constant thing. A constant renewing. Am I making sense to you? Amen. Say amen. Because I'm getting some looks from amen. some of you. Amen. amen. Glory to God. You, you, some of you may have never heard this. Well, I'm trying to help you this morning. Amen. Amen. But, but, but listen, 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 listen. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. That you put on the new man. Which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. You, you already got down inside of you what you need to overcome those, that mess of your thought, that mess in your mind today. And it's called the Holy Spirit of God. It's called the righteousness of Jesus Christ. It's called the holiness being separated unto Him. Can somebody hear me today? Give Him praise. But some people like living in a mess. Amen? Amen. Some people like a mess. Now there ain't nothing wrong with organized mess. Amen? Come look at my desk back there. Glory to God. I got an organized mess. I know every, I know every little thing that's on there. Amen? And don't go to movies. That's one thing Kelly refused to do, my wife refuses to do, Lisa, is to come in my office and mess with my desk. Because it is, it, is, it is my chaotic order. Glory to God. I know where it's all at. I, I, I 
can reach up there and find it. I might have to dig a few minutes, but I know it's there. <laughs> Amen? But some of us like living in a mess that's chaotic. Some of us like living in disorder. Because you know what? You know why? Everybody listen to me. Are you going? Let me say this to you before I say what I'm going to say. I love you. Yes. <laughs> I love you too. I love you. Amen. And the only reason I'm telling you this is because the Holy Spirit done told me to tell you. The reason some of you like living in a mess, not like living. Some people got to have drama 24 7. Amen. 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 They thrive on it. Amen. And you know why? Because they're too lazy to do what's right in the sight mm, of the right. Lord. Amen. Amen. Come, on. Amen. come on, somebody. I'm speaking the truth to you now. It's easier, it's easier to keep something stirred up than let God fix the mess in your mind. Amen. Oh, y'all didn't like that. That's true. Amen. That's true. We, we get so used to that, to that mess. We get so used to that drama, we don't know no other way. Am I speaking to anybody this morning say amen? Come on, amen. But if we will allow God to renew the way we think, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, we'll find a more excellent way, amen? We'll find a way to walk above that mess. Hello? Amen. Oh, boy, somebody ain't getting this this morning, amen? amen. You need to hear what I'm saying to you today. Look, uh, go, go to Galatians. Let's go to Galatians, C-O-L, chapter number three, I believe it is. Chapter number three, verse number ten. Chapter three, verse number ten. And have put on the new man who is renewed in the knowledge according to the image of him who created him? God doesn't want you to have a mess up here. God doesn't want you to have a wrong way of thinking. God doesn't want chaos in your life. God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. Amen. God, God, God has God, God will mold you and make you even the way you think into the man or the woman that He wants you to be if you'll just let Him. But some of us won't let Him. Hello? Because. Hello? Amen. Because we think we know better than God. That's right. Amen. Come on. I talked to a friend of mine this morning. Me and him were talking about letting God have his will as well. Walking in obedience to God. He said, you know, I made a mistake one time and told him, telling God I knew better than he did. He said, he stepped me straight right quick. Amen. Amen. And you know, guess what? He's not the only one guilty of that. Hello? Amen. How many times has God told you to do something? Has God told you the correct way to do it? Or you've read the way to do it here in this Word, and you say, well, I don't think I want to do it that way. Amen. You know what you just done? You told God you knew better how to do it than He did. That's right. Amen. Because when God goes, oh, am I getting through to anybody this morning? Oh, say amen. 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 We got to get this mess cleaned up. Amen. And the only way to do it is be not conformed to the form of lust, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Because we've been created in the image of Him who created us. Amen. God's the one that changed. God will change your way of thinking if you'll let Him. But you know something? You've got to quit feeding the junk into it. Amen? Amen. Amen. You gotta, you gotta, you you gotta get away from some of that stuff. Bad goes in, bad comes out. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You gotta get. Mm, I'm not. I'm not. Look here. I I think. I think. I think that. I, like I said. I said a while ago. I think the internet's the devil playground. I, I I do mean that too. Amen. But I also think it's a great tool Amen. in the hands of God. Amen. Amen. I like that. Amen. Okay. Reach a lot of people. You reach a lot. You reach people that you otherwise couldn't touch. Amen. 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 But you know something? Sometimes too much of a good thing is too much. Amen. 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 Woo, 
Hallelujah. Am I getting through to somebody? Amen. Come on. And, 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 and when you sit down to watch TV, ask yourself this, that movie you just clicked on, would Jesus sit here and watch this movie? That's right. That's Hello? Right. Just a minute. Ask Jesus. Is this, would, you, would Jesus sit here and watch this with me? Because what goes in his eye gate and hits that brain gate, is eventually going to come out that Amen. mouth. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. We've got to be, we cannot be, we cannot, we cannot be conformed to this world. We've got to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Amen. And let me tell you something, we've got what it takes. Amen. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk according to the flesh. Amen. Guess what? We might be walking around in the flesh. That don't mean we got to give in to it 24-7. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Amen. We might live in the flesh, but our war is not. We don't war according to the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. Amen. Casting down arguments. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity Amen. to the obedience Amen. of Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. Have you taken those thoughts captive? Have you quit letting the devil use your mind as a playground? You have got the Holy... If you're born again today, you've got the Holy Ghost living inside of you. Amen. You have Amen. what it takes to overcome. Can somebody, everybody look right up here. Amen. I want you to hear what I'm saying today. You were given the day you got saved, the day the Holy Spirit come to live in your heart, the day that God gave you that measure of faith, you were given everything you needed to overcome and walk in victory through the Lord Jesus Christ. You just got to get a hold of the way you think. God will help you clean up that mess. Amen. Amen. Are you willing to let him do it this morning? Amen. Yes. Are you willing to say, Lord, take control of my mind? Take control of the way I think today, Father. Take control and show me what to do. And listen, listen, and then do what he says. That's right. That's it. If you're sitting there and you're and, and you playing with your computer and God says, cut it off and get in the word, cut it off and get in the word, don't say just a minute, Lord. Do it right now. Amen. 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 If you're sitting there and you're beginning to watch a television show and the Lord speaks to you and says, You don't need to be watching this, guess what? Turn the channel. That's right. Amen. Amen. Go pick up the Bible. Amen. We watch, let me tell you something, if we don't watch Christian television, we're watching a hunting, we're watching a hunting show or something on TV. We're careful what comes in our house, amen? amen. I've watched so many cartoons here lately, it ain't funny. Then we're careful, what them, we're careful about them, amen? amen? I do have to be now, too. Amen. Because, church, you want to clean the mess up in your mind? You've got to be careful what goes in it. Amen? That's right. Because what goes in it is going to come out of it. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Are you ready to get your mind renewed today? Are you ready to be transformed? Are you ready for that mess to be cleaned up? Ask the Lord Jesus Christ to step in and take control. Yield. Quit trying, quit trying to do it your way. Amen. 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 And let God do it His way. Amen. Amen. Let the Lord Jesus have control. You got an out of order household? Ask Jesus to step in. Amen. 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 You got an out of order thought life? Ask Jesus to step in. Amen. You got an out. You, you got it out. You got stuff out of order at work? Ask Jesus to step in. Amen. Because He's the answer to it all. Who's going to clean up this mess? Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Do like the song says, I surrender all.
All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Amen. All heads are bowed. All eyes are closed. There's nobody with me. Emotions settle, feelings try. I can't seem to redeem all the tears that I've cried. And it seems as if there's really no way home. And I've tried to find the strength to carry on. I move back so. I wonder why I try to find the ways To turn back the time I find out more and more The reasons for my life The answers feel so far from me I seek the light When the waves wash ashore I feel the sand move away I look down at the footprints that haven't washed away And I feel myself lighter than the air And I see there's more than just my pair There's just one